speak of the devil, there is the mothership. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I wasn't too sure where I was going, but I figured <laughs> how hard can it be? How many batteries you got? I actually thought that my camera had kaput the mau mau. <laughs> and, uh, I regret not putting the um, top box on for this trip. I was going to uh, take mine off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. So you is it all switched on? Oh, you can do it from there. Yeah. I'll um, I'll have to follow you because I got no idea where I am. Oh, okay. Oh, we've met up with Noel. Wonderful. And he's going to show me the way to the Paikokariki Hill. All good. to believe that we're on the outskirts of the second biggest city in the country and the capital of New Zealand too, Wellington. But Wellington is built in amongst all these great big ranges of hills and sits right on a big fault line. So I've read articles about why do we have our capital built on a major fault line, why not move it? Of course Auckland was the capital from 1840 to 1860 and then it was moved to Wellington because it was considered to be a central location in the country, which it is, but it's prone to earthquakes. <laughs> and if we get a big one, Wellington could be devastated. I've heard talk of maybe moving the capital to another location, and one that I, I uh, read about the suggestion was move it to Hamilton in the Waikato. Hamilton is um, geologically stable and has plenty of room around it to expand. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, politicians will make of that idea, but uh, it kind of makes sense to me. And of course the um, people down south may not like the idea either. Oh, you can see it, uh, see where the prevailing wind is through here. Those gum trees. Wow, <laughs> they look quite unusual. Kokoriki Hill Road now. We haven't actually reached the hill, this is just the leading up bit to it. Uh, and what a great road so far. I wanted to come from this direction because I know that when we get to the coast we're going to get some beautiful views going down the hill. Well, so far today we've had a bit of wind, a lot of cloud, quite a few bouts of rain, and now we're in the bright sunshine. No doubt about it, four seasons in one day. Four seasons in one day Lying in the depths of your imagination Worlds above and worlds below that's Kapiti Island out there. These days it's a um, wildlife reserve, so they've gotten rid of all the rats and stoats and feral cats off the island, and the bird life apparently is flourishing. And what a stunning view. Obviously the camera won't do it justice. Bit of wind. Beautiful. I'm a bit worried about the wind. The wind, yes. You will live in windy Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not a bad view from up here. The understatement of the year, mate. <laughs> Seasons.
hands in one day. There's Paikokariki Township down there. Gonna head down there, have a coffee with Noel, and then head home some, I don't know, 500 kilometres to home. On a clear day, you can see the South Island down there, no way with this camera. When you get down the bottom of the hill, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Beautiful though, gosh. Oh, I know the camera's not going to do this, see this view any justice, but man, that's beautiful out there. I think that um, Kapiti Island was one of the first wildlife refuges created in the country, I'm pretty sure, and was a resounding success. So it helped the, um, the native bird life and lizards and things like that. We don't have any big mammals native to the country but uh, a lot of our bird life <laughs> is flightless, you know. <laughs> Some old kiwis can't be bothered to fly uh, because they had no natural predators. And so when uh, people came along with their dogs and later on the Europeans with their cats and stoats and that sort of thing. Um, they found that some easy pickings in those flightless native birds that we've got. Kokoriki Hill. So we must turn left here onto State Highway 1 before we can turn right. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Oh, she's a busy road. Holiday weekend traffic, I guess. Jesus, is it? Hey? What year? Five. 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 And now it's time to head home, about 500 kilometres away. I'll be home in time for tea. See ya. Oh, that's a few hours away yet. Yeah.
four seasons in one day. So we're heading straight up the guts. I'll stay on Highway 1 all the way to Auckland and see how long it takes me.